Hi folks, this video covers what are NC programs in Fusion 360, how you can set them up, and how they can save you a lot of time, as well as a sneak peek of what's coming with NC programs. Let's dive in. So the traditional workflow in any integrated CAD CAM software is you'd bring in your solid model of your part, you'd switch into the CAM workspace, you would start applying toolpaths to machine that part, and then when you're ready to run the part on the machine, you would go to the post process option. And then here you'd have to make a number of decisions like where the file is being posted to, the post processor you're using, as well as a number of customized post processor settings, some of which are really important. Well, just like we've got really good ways of automating the workflows behind how we create tool paths so that we don't have to reinvent the wheel each time, NC programs is a way of automating all of these settings for post processors. By remembering what specific cam operations or setups you want to run for specific machines, including the file name, the output location, the post processor, and a number of those key important settings. Let's go through five different manufacturing workflows where I think NC programs can really help you. And the first is the simplest one. You've either got multiple machines running or even just multiple Fusion projects open at the same time. And if you're using the traditional post processor option within Fusion, the selection of the post processor is persistent across all your Fusion files or projects. So what that means is if I'm using the Tormach on one file, but then I wanna run the Haas post on a different file, I've gotta constantly switch back and forth between those two posts. NC programs will solve that problem. The second reason is safety. Using NC programs allows you to set the name of that program the post processor that's being used, the location that it gets posted to, as well as the settings. This is incredibly important to make sure you don't run the wrong code on the wrong machine, or perhaps select the wrong file name, or just post it to the wrong location. There's also some really important settings, like for example, on a lathe post, this max spindle speed. For the folks out there who are keen on handwriting their G code, you'll recognize this as a G50 command. We've got that set at 2000 RPMs. This limits the lathe to the RPM set by the G50 command throughout the whole program, regardless of how you've programmed individual cam or tooling feeds and speeds. And this is a really important setting for lathes because as you increase the RPM, a traditional chuck will lose its gripping power. And you can also have issues whether you've got material sticking out the front of your chuck or perhaps your bar feeding in and you don't want to rotate higher than a certain speed due to safety or the potential of the bar whipping around. Number three, let's say you only have one machine, but let's say that machine has, say, a fourth axis. Well, you're probably going to use either two different posts or the same post, but with different settings. Using NC programs lets you save those settings for how the fourth axis is set up on your machine. Number four is the ability to alternate between having the machine stop frequently for you to say check a part or check a tolerance or check a finish versus running it normally. So we've got numerous operations in this finishing strategy and we've created a manual in C that has all those operations selected. But what we can also do in this finishing strategy is start adding manual in C's with option stops. And we can place these intermittently as needed to force the machine to stop. Control D will duplicate them. And we can drag these throughout our part. And this will give you the chance to go over to the machine when it hits one of these option stops and inspect, again, the tool, the part, etc. And in this manual NC, I will make sure to include those. So now we've quickly got the ability to post the exact same operations, one with the option stops, one without. The beauty of option stop is it's a toggle on your machine control. And if you toggle it on and your G code hits an option stop, it's going to pause and wait for you to come over, do whatever you need to do, inspect the part, say move a fixture, and then hit cycle start and it will resume. And you can toggle it on and off as needed even when the machine's running. Similarly, on complicated parts like this with really long run times, I don't always post everything all at once. I'm gonna section this out and manual NC really helps with that because what I'll do is I'll uncheck everything and I'll just post, say, the first five operations, which in this part is well over an hour of machine time. And when that's done, I'll come back and I'll post the rest. With manual NC, though, it's given you a list so you know that's the next one to start with. I can uncheck the ones that have already been completed. 
and add the rest that I want to add. You don't risk skipping operation or accidentally running one twice. And finally, two more things, and they're both pretty cool. The first is that you're not going to create manual NCs anymore. You're gonna leave them already created in a master template. This is our lathe master template video card here to watch the video of how we put this to use. We've got our work holding pre-populated cam. We're gonna drop our part into it. And the manual NC is already created for this machine. It's got our preferred file name, our preferred location, the correct post processor, and the settings that we want already saved. So in this case, I don't even have to create the NC program. However, if you do want to create your own, simply go to Setup, Create NC Program, and it's the same process as when you're creating a post processor. We could choose the name, we could choose our post processor, check our settings, OK, and rename it Lathe Optio Demo. Right clicking on your NC program will allow you to post process the code right away. Other than the overwrite warning, you have no other prompts to click through or confirm. In this case, it popped open the preview of the G code. If you don't want that, hop in, settings, uncheck, open NC file and editor. We'll save that and it will just post your code. Right clicking will also allow you to simulate or generate setup sheets for the included CAM operations. But what gets me even more excited is what NC programs is the start of. And it's the start of tying in the connection between your part, your CAM, your machine, your settings, simulation, and that full picture of understanding a manufacturing workflow. A lot of this is still in beta, but even at Autodesk University last year, 2019, they showed some examples of stuff to come in the preview features, including things like machine configuration and machine models that are gonna to start to close the loop on things like confirming you've got the right post processor selected or even increased simulation capability. If you're watching this video just on YouTube, card here to the NYC CNC page will have additional resources on NC program, including relevant updates as its capability grows within Fusion 360. Otherwise, folks, hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. See you soon.